In this video, we will outline the necessary steps to cleaning and sanitizing your greenhouse between crop cycles. This includes removing plants and organic matter, washing surfaces with detergent, rinsing, and applying a disinfectant. A thorough cleanout helps reduce carryover of arthropod pests such as insects and mites, and plant pathogens such as fungi, bacteria, viruses, and nematodes. Even in the absence of their host plants, these pests can survive by hiding in crevices, organic matter, or weeds. Some pathogens can survive on greenhouse surfaces for long periods. Low greenhouse temperatures during fall cleanout can further extend the survival time of these organisms. If pests are still present after cleanout, they will promptly infest new plants. These early infestations can significantly impact plant health, especially if pest populations build before biological control can establish. A thorough cleanout of the greenhouse between crops will delay pest incidence for as long as possible. Begin your greenhouse cleanout by treating the plants for any remaining pests. Next, cut plants away from their support lines and remove all plant material and substrate. Remove all plant debris left behind. Remove all drippers and their supporting clips. Remove and discard sticky tape. Lastly, remove soil, organic residues, weeds, and surface debris, since they can reduce the effectiveness of disinfectants and provide protection for pests. Minimize the chance of pest reintroduction to the new crop by properly disposing of all greenhouse waste. The next step is to power wash the greenhouse using a detergent and water solution. Use a low pressure setting and a nozzle with a large opening. Work from top to bottom and from the back of the greenhouse towards the entrance to prevent re-entry into cleaned areas. Thoroughly wash the ceiling, curtains, sidewalls, and other hard to reach places like greenhouse environmental sensors and infrastructure. Rails and pipes also accumulate dust and debris. Troughs should be scrubbed to remove organic debris, being mindful that debris may be stuck underneath. Clean highly textured and porous surfaces, such as concrete walkways and windows. Wash and scrub all equipment and tools that came into contact with the crop, including picking crates, scissor carts, knives, and pruners. Rinse the detergent from all surfaces and allow them to dry before moving to the next step. Once the greenhouse is dry, the next step is to apply a disinfectant. Choose a product based on the type of pathogens you are trying to clean. Contact a crop specialist to find out more information about which product will work best for you. Remember to follow the product label for application methods and rates. Keep in mind that disinfectants do not work instantaneously. Create conditions that will slow drying to help ensure sufficient contact time to optimize disinfection. But be mindful of temperature. Lower greenhouse temperatures require longer contact time and may reduce effectiveness, whereas higher temperatures could increase the efficiency and efficacy of the disinfectant. Regularly clean and disinfect all surfaces that are frequently touched by employees, such as door handles, water fountains, and office computers. Thoroughly clean the irrigation system, including all water tanks, emitters, and lines at the same time as the greenhouse structure so that waterborne pathogens aren't passed on to the next crop. Once the greenhouse is clean, continue to take precautions to prevent future contamination. Maintain strict hygiene for all employees by requiring separate work and personal shoes, freshly laundered uniforms, and provide boot scrubbing and hand washing stations throughout the greenhouse. Follow a workflow protocol, moving from cleaner to dirtier areas over the course of the day and using sanitary stations before entering new areas. If you work in high-risk areas, wear disposable coveralls, boot covers, and gloves to avoid cross-contamination. Try not to share equipment between houses. If you must share equipment, decontaminate them between houses. Restrict access to production areas to only necessary employees and industry support staff. Ensure waste is properly disposed of. 
starting with a properly sanitized greenhouse and adhering to biosecurity measures throughout the crop cycle is the best way to prevent large-scale pest outbreaks.